you manifest. This is called manifestation. Hey guys, my gang, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me through a few questions or topics that you guys would like me to talk about. And while I answer those questions, I'm going to be beating this beautiful face. I haven't done my makeup on camera in a long time, so I'm actually kind of excited for that. But of course, before we start this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Gummit Gang. It is a vibe over here. We just hit 60k subscribers, which I'm really excited about. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. And of course, hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. So before we get into the video, I'd like to thank Bonomo for sponsoring today's video. Bonomo is an online trading app. Would you guys like to make a second stream of income? Because I know I do. <laughs> I do. Bonomo is an online trading app that's available on iOS and Android. It is very reliable and you can make a second stream of income from the comfort of your own home. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is open an account with them. I will leave the link in the description box. So you just need to sign up. That is the first step. If you are someone who's experienced in trading, all you need to do is sign up, log into the website, make your deposit. But since most of you are new and inexperienced like myself, all you need to do is sign Sign up, create an account, but only start with the demo account. When you start with the demo account, they give you tutorials on how to trade and what you should do in order to make a second income stream because it is very difficult to do. It needs focus and it needs experience and knowledge. So it's very helpful to do a demo account. And once you're happy, you can switch from demo to your real account where you can start practicing your real trading skills. So once you've done all of that and you've registered, you've done your demo, or you already know what's going on, the first thing you need to do is deposit a minimum of 150 rand minimum 150 rand of course like anything in life everything is give and take sometimes you may lose that's part of life but you also do make a profit if you're focused and you know what you're doing you will make a profit once you've made your money they have a 24 hour withdrawal period which i think is perfect so if you have something that you need to pay asap if you just dedicate your day or a few hours in a day to using this app and you make the money that you make then you can withdraw in 24 hours and spend that money you have to be 18 years or older to use this app personally i've been using this app for two days now i'm going to screen record for you guys and put it on the screen so you guys can see the activity i'm doing quite well I'm currently using my demo account. I did the tutorials, tried to learn the ins and outs and what to do, and so far, so good. So I'm really excited about this. It's obviously trial and error, um, but eventually you do get the hang of it. You can sign up by using the link in my description box. I also do have a coupon code, of course. I'll leave it here on the screen. I'll also leave it in the description box. If you sign up using my link and my code below, you will get double the deposit. So if you deposit 150, it'll double into 300. If you deposit 300, it'll double into 600. So if I were you, I would hurry up and sign up right now. You can try yourself out. Let me know how it goes. Please do leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried it before. If you're going to try it, if you are trying it, please do let me know. If you do decide to try it, please let me know what you would do with your second stream of income. I personally would finish finishing my new place. I want it to look like a hotel. I want it to look perfect so right now that's what i'm working towards so please let me know if you start earning your second stream of income what are you going to do with that money like i said everything you need to know will be in the description box below let's get into the video a few moments later okay i switched up where i am because i didn't like the positioning of where i was i have family over so i have to be in here also Please excuse the echo in this room. It is quite an empty room, so apologies in advance for that. So as you guys can see, I've done my brows off camera. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with eyeshadow and answer a few of your questions. I've seen a few of them. Thank you for sending interesting questions this time because people like to be like, how old are you? How did you start a YouTube channel? What motivates you to continue with your channel? Like, 
let's switch it up. I've answered those kind of questions before. If you want to know the answer to those questions, watch my previous video. Okay, actually, in terms of eyeshadow, I don't know what to do. If you guys watch my vlog, um, I did mention that as of late, I've just not been doing eyeshadow, and I don't know why. And the look I usually go for, I've already done a tutorial on it on my channel where I don't put eyeshadow, so I feel like it wouldn't make sense to not do eyeshadow. So, um, let me put this hair back. So while I think about what I'm gonna do on my eyelids, I'm gonna prime my eyelids using the Essence Concealer. It's called Camouflage Matte Concealer in the shade Golden Toffee. I love this concealer, I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if it's focusing. I have such bad eyesight, I can't see in the viewfinder if it's focusing, so if it's not, I'm sorry. I will leave everything in the description box. <laughs> okay, so let me answer your questions. Someone asked, do I have an age limit when it comes to dating? Definitely. <laughs> I think age is very important in the sense that, I mean, to each his own, I'm not dragging anyone, but I think age is important in the sense that, first of all, ain't nobody trying to catch a case. <laughs> it's not there. Secondly, you don't want to groom people, um, but that's like going deep into it. But the reason why I date people close to my age and not too old and definitely not younger than me, I don't date men that are younger than me, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but I did close to my age just because I think it's appropriate. Uh, conversation makes more sense. We're relatively in the same space, career-wise, life-wise. Um, there's not too much pressure. Um, your partner will get where you're coming from. Stress about life, stress about like reaching a certain age and wanting to be somewhere in life. So I don't know. I just think dating around my age group makes more sense than not dating around my age group. I mean, I've gone on dates with older people like someone who's maybe two years above what I usually would go for um, I've only ever entertained someone that's younger than me once once or twice I think and I was just like mm, no so I don't date people my age and I don't date people that are too older than me because that just doesn't make sense to me I mean obviously if I had to fall in love with someone who's older than me it can happen I'm not naive it can happen I've seen it happen but personally, I like to stick to my age group. I don't date people my age though. <laughs> you have to be one year older than me and then I cap it at like about, how old am I? I'm 24, so I think I cap it at 30 right now. I think my cap is someone who's 30. Obviously if you're 31, I'm not gonna be like, no. But like 32 upwards, I'm a bit like, hmm. You know what I mean? Okay guys, I'm gonna keep today's look very simple. I think that's the safest way and the video will be shorter. If I do a detailed eyeshadow look, this video will be 50 minutes. I know myself. I'm gonna be using the Dupe Factory palette. You can get it online and in the store in Samson. I'll leave everything in the description box. Um, it's called the 35 color eyeshadow and glitter palette. There's no other name. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know I believe in this palette, so this is the palette I'm using today. And I think I'm just gonna play with the neutrals over here, these rows here, and we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. Um, this question says, given the opportunity, would you relocate to a different country? I think I definitely would. Um, life feels very redundant right now. Um, I don't know how to explain it, like life just feels like, oh, another day. Let me know, comment down below if you guys feel the same way. Like life just feels very blah right now. And I think maybe changing locations would make somewhat of a difference. Um, if I had to choose, I'd move to the UK. I really, really want to move to the UK one day. Like, oh, I would love it. I don't know why, like I just resonate with a lot of UK YouTubers whenever I watch them. Whenever they run errands and stuff, I'm like, I would actually love to live in the UK. Like, there's just something about it. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something about it. And also because they colonized us, um, a lot of their language is the same as us. So what we refer to certain things as, if that makes sense, they refer to it in the same way. And like in the US, for example, biscuits are like scones. Whereas us scones are scones and then in the UK scones are scones. I don't know if that makes sense. So there's also that like we're the same in the right? There's Nando's in the UK because I know 
if I had to move countries, difference in food would definitely affect me because I love food chow. <laughs> and at least in the UK there's Nando's, like something familiar. So yeah, I think I'd love to move to the UK now. Just for a change of scenery, like I'm really bored right now. I'm not gonna lie, life is just boring and redundant. There's nothing really exciting. Um, but that's just me. Um, this question says, what's your take on friendship breakups? Um, oh, they're part of life. Like, not everyone is forever. Some people reach their expiration dates. Sometimes we grow apart. Sometimes we, sometimes we grow up and we realize that we're actually different. Um, friends that do make it a long way, shout out, like, that's a blessing. Um, but I think it's important to embrace friendship breakups. It's part of life. They're not easy. Friendship breakups are not easy, not at all. Um, but I think the key is just to understand that in life, we go different paths and nothing has to be forever. Friendship breakups are friendship breakups, just like breakups. If something has to end in order for other people to grow and us to move forward, that's completely fine. Um, I've experienced two friendship breakups that rocked me. Um, but you just have to keep it moving and just Live life, you can't mope. Um, this person says, have you ever thought of doing radio, your voices? Thank you. Um, yes. <laughs> Anyone who knows me, or if you followed me, you know one of my biggest, biggest, biggest dreams in life is to be on radio. But then I'd have to stop drinking because drinking affects, affects my voice very easily. Like today, my voice is messed because I was celebrating my cousin's birthday, so... I'd have to stop drinking, but for that dream, I'd do it. Honestly, I would. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to be on radio. Um, did you ever imagine yourself being as independent as you are now at this age? And how does it feel? No, definitely not. Um, especially because when I was in varsity, I felt like, oh, I hate school. Like, well, not that I hated it, but I hated what I was studying. So I was kind of just like, what am I doing? Like, am I going to be a failure? What do I actually want to do? What is my actual passion? So, oh, I hate this brush. So it was very hard at first because it was like, oh, I have to have a passion of some sort. Like, you know, in high school when you have to pick subjects and things like that, I was like, what is my passion? Like, what do I want to do? So initially, I wanted to do journalism. Um, I wanted to be a journalist. That's what I did for job shadowing. I job shadowed at SAPC. So yeah, that was pretty much the initial plan. Um, and then you get to varsity and it's not what you want to do anymore. So I definitely thought I was going to be one of those people that fail in life or it's going to take very long to succeed. And then God said, don't worry my child. I'm going to give you a talent and a platform and you're going to be independent by the age of 21. I definitely did not expect it, but I'm so grateful because it's made life that much easier because now I didn't have to search for my passion. It kind of just fell into my lap and I was like, oh my God, I actually like this. So yeah, definitely that. And through this job and through this journey, I then also discovered my dream to be on radio because obviously, People would compliment my voice and like be like, oh my gosh, you should definitely be on the radio. So it also sparked that passion as well. So if there's one thing I'm greatly grateful for, it's this job. Like it's completely changed my life. And the fact that I'm 24 this year and I'm happy with where I am in life for a 24 year old says a lot for me. Obviously there's a lot I'd like to achieve. But I think for, for 24, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. Um, this question says, would you ever live in Durban again? No, I would not. Um, I love my hometown. Love it, love it, love it. But personally, I just think Durban's too slow for me. Um, I'm speaking for myself before Durban people like <laughs> drag me in the comments, but I just think there's not enough opportunities in Durban, I think. There's not enough around you that motivates you to wake up every day and like really get that bread. Whereas, I don't know how to explain Joburg. Joburg is like, people are moving. People wake up, people make money. Like wherever you go, people are moving. Um, Joburg is just very like laid back. I'm not saying they don't work, but people are just 
lay back. Like, that's just how I think it is. There's, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd wake up in Durban and be like, let's get this bread. Like, no. So, no, I wouldn't live in Durban. I love visiting Durban because obviously it's home. Um, I'd get a holiday home in Durban. But to live, no. Now I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna use the Revlon Prime Plus Perfect and Smoothing Primer. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna use the Revlon Rose Glow Primer. This is the coat. This girl says, my boyfriend leans on me to pay for dates and activities because he's always broke, in inverted commas, but stays popping bottles. What? <laughs> first and foremost, first and foremost, first and foremost, there's nothing wrong with paying for things as a girl. I don't think there's anything wrong. But obviously we both have to pay, like sometimes you pay, sometimes I'll pay. Uh, I do think the man should pay most of the time. Um, but if I'm paying for things and you're popping bottles, we're breaking up. <laughs> Understand, like, does he not want to take care of you? And that's my issue is that it seems like he doesn't want to take care of you, he doesn't want to put in the efforts at work. So, you must do it. I don't understand. Is it your relationship? Is it ours? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> this, this question's stressing me out. Um, I would dip, <laughs> I would leave. Um, because no, 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 count me out. Okay, I'm gonna move on to foundation. As of late, I've been loving the Revlon Full Cover foundation. I really, really do like it. But it's been looking kind of orange lately. So I'm not sure. Then I also like the Wet n Wild Dewy foundation. I do like it, but it's not full coverage. And I don't have any other foundations right now. I do have the Candid one, but this is looking too neutral <laughs> so i don't know which one to use it's looking neutral and kind of light i don't know like whenever seasons change my skin tone also changes i don't know if anyone else has that okay i think let's use the revlon doesn't look too bad <laughs> someone says money or in doctor choose one that is your one oh, oh, oh. What would I choose? Money or not? Okay, first of all, men are not a great investment. So I think I'd choose money, but at the same time, I could choose in daughter in a money. In an ideal world, in an ideal world, I'd choose in daughter in a money. That's definitely what I do because I'm the best of both worlds. Money makes the world go around and talk about like. <laughs> Money, yo, cause I'm not demanding it. So I mean, I'd pick money, but if I can pick in between the money, that's what I'd pick because I believe in indota, but it's not more than money. And indota any money is even better. That thing is nice. You know, to have any money, but yo, please. So I believe in indota, but it's not more than I believe in self love. <laughs> and that's all period. This foundation, guys. The truth. The truth. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Essence Concealer again. I'm gonna use Golden Toffee first, and then I'm gonna use, what shade is this? Warm Toast second. So these are the two that I like to use. Have you ever been catfished? Yes, I have. I actually have been catfished, oh my gosh. And like, luckily I already cut it felt like I was being catfished, like I kept being like, guys, something is hitting the waters over here. Like, he was beautiful and he had DM'd me on Instagram and I was like, okay, he kind of cute. It was a bit too good to be true-ish. I was like, this guy's like, beautiful, there's no way. And then he asked for my number and then we started texting. But when I looked at his like, Insta stories, <clears throat> It looks screen recorded. Does it make sense? Like it looks screen recorded. And I started noticing little things because I did suspect I was being catfished. I was looking at the steering wheel to see if it's on the right hand side or the left hand side, to see maybe if you're in a foreign country. 
I started looking at things like that and the steering wheel was definitely on the left hand side and I was like So I asked him, he was like, no, I'm currently traveling I was young though at this point, this was what? I'm not sure, I think it was 19, 20, around there And like somehow I was just like, no man But I kept it pushing low key because I started investigating like I found it kind of interesting And then I was also like, he's cute, baby, he's real Like, there's also that But every time I'd send voice notes, he wouldn't send voice notes back Every time like I'm on a video call, it would be blank. Like the typical catfish stuff, like it would be blank and then it would shut down and you'd say, oh no, my signal sucks, <laughs> things like that. It was just a typical catfish red flags, basically. And then that year I'd gone on a trip with my family for Christmas. I think we went to, yeah, I was there, we went to Pumalanga. Then he was like, I'm willing to come to Pumalanga to meet you. I was like, okay, there's no need. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna come back. And he kept emphasizing. So I was like, if he's a catfish, what's the plan? Like, I'm gonna see the real him. So, what is the plan? Didn't happen. He started whiling, saying, You don't wanna see me. And I was like, Sir, this is weird. Like, it was just very weird. And I could ask for pictures and it would be like screen recorded things. Um, it, just, it just wasn't adding up. And then eventually, he just disappeared off the face of the earth. So, yeah. Then, a few months later, I realized he's catfishing some other girl because she started posting him on her story. But like, she's posting screenshots um, that he sent me, like it wasn't like screenshots of like video calls or anything like that. I was like, oh, girl, you are getting catfished, my love. But I didn't say anything because you could tell she was kind of gone. She was a gone girl. She was happy to be there. So I was like, ah. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here, watch this unfold. Eventually, she'll pick up on it <laughs> and keep it moving. Um, this question says, do you see yourself getting married? Yes, and I don't know. Yes, in the sense that I think I'd be a great wife. I'd be a lovely wife to have. I'm very domesticated, very wholesome. Jay, I can look like a wife. I'd be a beautiful wife to have on your arm you know what i mean like i just feel like i would make sense as a wife but like when i look at it with the nitty gritty and like what actually goes on in marriage that is kind of scary but i would get married like i like the beauty of the union and like corny but you wake up next to the same person every day like, mm -shado. Mm -shado. it's like stability it's wholesome like, i definitely would get married um i want to get married tomorrow Put it up to me. I've been shut to Xasa, but it's okay. In life, you have to be patient <laughs> and wait for your Prince Charming to come along and ask me the big question. But yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely would get married. Like, I just think it would suit me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, sorry, guys. I'm using the Yardley Loose Powder and Deep Beige. You guys know this is my favorite. I believe in this product more than I believe in my family. Genuinely. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. If you could give this current phase of your life a title, what would it be? Oh, I think it would be acceptance. I think at this chapter of my life, I definitely name it acceptance because there's been a lot of changes that have happened in my life, um, both good and bad. And I'm accepting it. Like, I'm just before I used to be like, oh my god, this sucks. Why is this happening? Why is it not perfect? I don't deserve this. Like, that would be me, like 100% crybaby, um, spoiled brat. Um, but now I'm just accepting, like I'm just like, you know what? It's happening, it has to happen. And who are you to say it shouldn't be happening? I'm trusting God, I'm trusting God's process, God's timing. So I think, yeah, right now my life is just acceptance accepting things for what they are accepting life for how it's going and just yeah acceptance i like the question okay i'm gonna come to using my essence mattifying compact powder excuse this my hot comb <laughs> where it said it literally melted um i'm using the shade true caramel someone asked how did you become friends with zola choker and michaeline damas um, Zola I met through a friend, um, this was about a year or two ago, yeah, so that's how I met Zola, but we weren't close 
or anything like immediately after. And then uh, me and Michaeli I mean, have known each other for quite a while via social media, like years. And we both based in Durban, like not from, but you know what I mean, like we speak. Anyway, <laughs> um, Michaeli, we've known each other via social media, but we weren't necessarily friends. And then I think we really got close via seeing each other a lot at events and like being in the same circles, like we knew the same people. Um, and like, I guess we saw how we were on social media as well, like we're very similar in like our jokes and our tweets and things like that. And then yeah, we just kind of grew close after that, we hang out more often. And then obviously because Zola and Michele are friends and they're close, I subsequently got closer to Zola and we're like obsessed with each other. <laughs> we're literally obsessed with each other. So yeah, that's how I met them. I appreciate my friends, Shane your cousin. Those two hearts of gold, I love them so much. They're like the friends I didn't know I needed and now that I have them as friends, I'm just like, oh God, shout out, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate good friends. I really, really do. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Natalia and Dava. That's one thing I'm going to say. First of all, a lot of people are like, who's your man? Who's your man? Who's your man? Do you guys think, in my right mind, I will tell you guys who my man is? <laughs> I will never do that. One thing Landy Wakama will never do. Because the only way you'll know who my man is is if you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone. But the information coming from my lips, my lips, no, sorry, it's just, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but if you know the right people and you ask the right questions, you'll find out. Okay, for blush, what am I going to use? Mm, let me use this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to dip into these shades. I believe in using eyeshadow as blush, like the pigment is great, the smoothness is great. Why buy blush when you can use eyeshadow? Someone asked, would you work with high-end brands or is it not your market? It doesn't align with your brand. Um, if they wanted to work with me, I mean, I'd love to, but I also think I wouldn't because that's not my niche. That's not, it wouldn't be brand alignment at all because I'm not a luxury influencer. I only have a few luxury items. Um, I'm not like heavy when it comes to luxury, so it definitely wouldn't make sense. Um, I don't think now, maybe when I'm older and I actually can afford luxury items, it wouldn't make sense. I buy from Mr. Price and then I was come work with Louis Vuitton. Wouldn't make sense. Um, now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to use this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just going to line that on my Borderline. Someone said in Dota Mai Bene Mali. In Dota Mai Bene Presents. In Dota Mai Bene Dota. In Dota, you must walk into a room and you must know it's okay. Sing in Lilin Dota Manch and shift the energy. In Dota Mai Mai Yenzi Pilo Aki Be Easy. In Dota, we went to be happy. In Dota, I send it in Mali. In Dota, in Dota Mai Bene. In Dota Mai Bene. Indota may be in there. Indota must be Zulu. J. Indota. The thing about me, I believe in that gender. They suck, but I believe. Okay, so now I'm going to spray my face because I'm looking a bit cakey. I'm going to use the coats, the Maybelline Studio Fix setting spray. I love it. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died, but we're back. So, yeah, I'm just going to spray my face with some Maybelline Lasting Fix. Bring back some life. I look like a cake. It's a sweet man. So now I'm going to use this Maybelline bronzing palette. It's called the Face Studio Bronze Contour and Highlight Kits. I really, really have been loving this lately. So for my face, I use this shade right here. I don't know, I don't like intense highlighter on my cheeks anymore. I just feel like it looks really harsh. So I usually just use this shade. It's very subtle, but it's beautiful as well. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> yes, Nin. It's under in our. Woo! Someone just asked 
me? <laughs> Have I spoken to my crush yet? My crush being, what my celebrity crush yet? That being an owl musician. Let me tell you something. Even if I had, I wouldn't tell you. I really wouldn't. But, um... Um, no, I haven't. I haven't. Isn't he cuffed? I haven't. <laughs> then for my nose, I like to use this more golden shade because it kind of brings my face outwards and makes me look alive. Not too much. I hate when it looks overwhelming and now you just look, look like foil. I really, really do hate it. No shade. No shade, but I hate it. You just subtle, just, just enough to, you know? I'm under the brow bone. Some on my cupid bow. And then I'm also gonna put some in my inner corner. Just a little bit. Okay, now we're glowing. Period. Okay, I'm gonna put on my lashes off camera because I can't need to do it on camera. And I'll be back. I'm back. Elash na entire name. Cause sing up by any without lashes that go. Um, I will leave the style of these lashes in the description box, but I know they're from Topaz Lash because that's where I buy my lashes. Um, which mascara did I use? I used the Essence All Eyes On Me mascara. It's one of my favorite, my go-tos. Love it, especially for the bottom lash line. Absolutely love. I'm going to use this lip liner, guys. I buy this from like a China mall kind of store and I buy like a lot of them because they're so creamy so I can't even tell you where to buy it. It's like a shop in Randburg that's like one of those Chinese shops and they sell these for like, I think they're like 15 rand. I always buy like 10 and they're creamy. They're oh, my favorite, favorite, favorite. So I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. In case you like see it somewhere, this is what it looks like. Someone asked in marriage, what do you think your biggest fear would be? Hmm. I think it would be, not to sound corny, but like my husband waking up and deciding he don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> that would crush me. Um, obviously divorce. I think me falling more in love with my husband each day and he's like falling out of love or maybe Cheating on me and falling in love with someone else. Whoa, and then I was shown. I was shown. Or even me falling out of love with my husband and like, or like getting married and it's not giving what it's supposed to give. That's also a big fear for me. I don't know why marriage has such a negative connotation. People need to give it good PR because there are good marriages out there. People in good marriages need to speak up. Speak up. Speak out. Um, then I'm going to go in with this MAC liquid lipstick called Topped with Brandy. I feel like it matches my eyeshadow. I'm not sure. I'm very scared to do any other color but nude. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna, ooh, see? It's a bit dark. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this matte liquid lipstick. It's in like a nude shade. I know this brand doesn't exist anymore from what I know. Just try to lighten it a bit. Hmm, I think that's perfect. And that is it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed filming this. Um, I don't know what you guys think of the finished look. I look kind of cute. And it's on period. <laughs> I really enjoyed catching up with you guys. Please don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe and join the Gummy Gang family. We are on the road to 70k at the moment. Again, thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful it's been a long journey a very long journey ups and downs consistency and consistency bad quality quality whatever it may be you guys have stuck through it and i'm so grateful thank you so much i can't wait to hit 70k and of course the biggest goal is to get to 100k by the end of this year i need 100,000 subscribers and i'll put in the work and we will make it happen thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video